Today we're going to use the Marigold Laminator. It's the first time I've used it. I've had it and have not even had a chance. Um, the first thing I did notice though is the first time I turned it on, I just turned it on this way. It says cold. I didn't pay attention to it. I ran my thing through and it didn't do anything. I thought, oh no, I got sold a faulty thing. So I had to turn it off and then turn it towards towards me and it says hot. So we are waiting it for it to heat and once it heats we'll come back and I will start to see how this laminating works on my future um, bookmarks that you've seen some of my videos on. We're going to get back to those because um, those some of the bookmarks are going to be turned into other products as well. And I'll have my originals and then we will also have prints of them as bookmarks for sale down the road. So give me a few minutes while this heats up and then we'll see how well this marigold works. Um, with full disclosure, they didn't have, I thought they would come with at least some sheets for this. They did not. Uh, ended up, uh, nobody here in town carried them. So I had to get some Scotch thermal laminating pouches. I got these at Walmart. They were very inexpensive. Um, these are four by sixes. So we will um, come back as soon as this heats up and we'll see how well it works. And I'll see you very soon. Okay, the green light has come on saying that it is ready. It does have a odor, you know, as things heat up, it does have an odor. Okay, so we'll go through the center as the arrows say. It says make sure you do not cut your pouches or it can cause it to jam. So save your trimmings for afterwards. And this is the first time using this, so we'll see how it does. Their smells, you know how that smell is, but I'm hypersensitive to smell. I'm on oxygen, as y'all all know, so everything's really sensitive to me. Oh, wow! And it, it seems to have laminated. Ooh, let's do another one. I'll cut those in a minute. These are the bookmarks that I did, and I'll, I'll use my cutter and cut them down. I'm a purist. I like to hold my books in my hands and, you know, earmark the pages and fall asleep with it while I'm reading. I'm just not into all that Kindle. I don't mind a good audiobook though. Like if I'm in the vehicle or something like that, or if I'm painting, I don't mind an audiobook going in the background. But if I'm going to sit down and read, I want it in my hands. And nothing better than having a bookmark to mark your place. So far, so good. I was a little worried being that the, the pouches weren't marigold, but they seem to be doing just fine. And then when it's done, you just kind of put just real lightly. Oh, how cool. I am so excited. So, so excited. And we'll do one more. And you just be very easy and it just grabs it. I mean, as you slide it in there, you don't have to shove it or anything. Just lay it in there and you can feel it grab it and pull it through, which is nice. I got this on Amazon, by the way. Not sponsored at all. This is not a sponsored video. I just like to show you the products and review the products as I get them. And I've had this a while. I just haven't and ever so slightly. All right, everybody, I'm going to cut these and there's my first bookmarks completed. If you want to know there, I believe there is videos. Yes, I have videos painting these, some of these bookmarks. You can go on my playlist under bookmarks and I'm sure they'll be there. 
as always, I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure you subscribe, hit that icon, and look for more content to come. Have a wonderful day.